distinguished guests, planners of this important gathering, all you young people out there, parents and children, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I testify that I am here at this time in this place with this audience by grace. Grace, that marvelous grace, infinite grace. So, let's talk. As I understand it, the All of Us Research Program is a national effort to build a resource database that will accelerate health research for those residing in the United States. The program will enable volunteers and researchers to understand better that whether we are sick or healthy, we are different. To understand what makes us different and unique, to use this understanding to figure out the risk of getting and preventing specific diseases, to understand how certain diseases and treatments affect people differently, to have better understanding of the causes of and solution to health disparities to engage personalized treatment approaches and design drugs that are tailored to individual needs. My friends, this is good news. But make no mistake, ensuring good participation will require unprecedented trust and trust worthiness on the part of all concerned. I submit that in order for us to reap the benefits I just highlighted, the communities that were left out of research in the past must be included. And those that are hesitant to get involved in research because of historical abuses must be encouraged to do so. Someone once said, there is a fine balance between remembering the past and losing yourself in it. Granted that there are sometimes legitimate reasons to pause and examine critically the aims of research for ethical soundness, the time may have come to take advice from Dr. Maya Angelou, who put it so well when she said, and I quote, history, despite its wrenching pain, cannot be unleaved. But if faced courageously, needs not be lived again." End quote. In my humble opinion, one part of facing history courageously is to be willing to identify our fears and to register our concerns. The structure and governance of the All of Us Research Program provide opportunities for community engagement to identify and address these fears and concerns. Committees and task forces of experts are working to find ways to deal with overt threats to access, privacy, and security of the information that you provide as participants. Individuals who from birth through their lifetime 
are classified as belonging to special populations will have their research needs respected and addressed ethically. As a bioethicist, I have the privilege of serving on two of those committees that I just mentioned. And I can testify that it has been refreshing to join members who are experts in these areas as we painstakingly make good faith efforts to accomplish this work. Furthermore, I am thankful that every step in the research process is being carefully reviewed by the NIH Institutional Review Board before approval for implementation is granted. Now, although the research program is not directed at any specific disease or population, all of us want to include people from all communities so that the knowledge we gain benefits everyone. So, another part of facing history courageously is to work collaboratively to build mutual trust and trustworthiness as critical moral commitments, especially where these have been lacking in research relationships. Using the partnership model of the All of Us Research Program, I argue that on the ground of the common good, we should promote trust and trustworthiness as a matter of social justice. Finally, today we endeavor to build awareness, to educate everyone about the All of Us research program, and to begin forming relationships that may yield one million or more participants willing to consent and to sign on uh, when adequately informed. In closing, I want you to know that I am one in a million and that the future of better health begins with me. How about you? Thank you.